we're over at XJO 81X's. There's a hand truck. Look what the pussy kitten dragged in. Hey, Kenmore 80 series. Another one. This is a little bit lower model than Joe has. It doesn't have the second rinse option here. Lady and a guy, they have a kid, they bought a house really close to here. Free. Just gave it away because their real estate agent gave them a brand new top load, high efficiency washing machine. So they didn't even want it. They claimed it worked because when they looked at the house, it was running. The old owners were doing laundry at the time. So it's filthy, uh, obviously. Getting it out of that house, which was built in the early 1900s, the stairway was not conducive to... You had to like go outside, practically, to get into the basement. Or at least it used to be that way, she said. And uh, that's it. Everything here is complete. The underside of it, it looks like it may have had a transmission put in, which is interesting because it looks too shiny and new, so we don't know. The original owners never peeled off the blue stuff. Look, look how clean. Wow. You can't even get that off. There's no way to make it look new, you know, all even anymore. So we got the hose hooked up. Joe's getting a cap for it. They're not too filthy, so I guess we're good. And we're going to start filling this up in a minute, see if it does indeed work. Alright, so we're all set. We'll do a large load. Seems to work. Cold, because that's what we got. We'll do fast, fast. I'll change it when we do that. Um, and um, Both machines in the basement have that option. Yeah, this one is odd the way they did it. Instead of having the switch for the second rinse, it goes off and then you can turn it on for a second right. rinse. The basements have the knob, but then they also have that on the which timer. Is, right, which is, it, it's, it's odd because there's like no way to turn it on. I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, right there, takes water. So we'll let it fill up and we'll see what happens. This is good. It has good agitator dogs. Who knew? That's a rarity. So, good. And obviously, this is all going to get cleaned up and that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what the deal is. When this fills, I'll get a thing for the... What do you call it here? The switch and we'll be on our way. Otherwise, it's a seemingly clean machine. Little spots of rust here and there. You got the old scratch and dent on the front over there, a couple little scuffs. But otherwise, it's in reasonably good shape, you know. Underneath, the only rust was just on the very bottom of it, kind of like where it sits on the floor. But everything up inside, the pump, the motor, transmission, all that, nothing was really rusty. I've seen them, like, totally rusted out. So it's in otherwise pretty good shape. Those poor people... Don't even know what they got rid of, for free no less. Let's see if uh, the valves work. So far so good. Should stop now. It does. So that doesn't prove the hot works, but it proves the cold valve works. So, because we only have just the hose hooked up, capped off the hot right there. And uh, we got a little time yet till this fills up. I don't know where it's going to stop, so I'll come back real soon. This may not be a great sign. Kind of rusty around there. Kind of doesn't clip in too well. Should be glued down. We're coming into the home stretch, so any second. I fully expect this machine is going to work just fine. As far as it jumping into spin, when it goes to drain, remains to be seen, but it should go and agitate just fine. Motor coupler looks serviceable. There's play in it. It's worn. It's been there, but it's... <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. If you can't read it now. It's a double action, uh, double rollover, dual action, plus in the center. 
It's working absolutely perfect. Agitator dogs indeed, of course. Might be just the tiniest bit worn, but they're serviceable yet for some time. Water level, probably could use an adjustment, but Joe never did that on any of his others. Yeah, that could definitely come up a little bit. I'm going to go, because we know it works, I'm going to advance the timer to the short. We'll try the different speeds here. So this should be slow uh, agitation. Slow agitation. Delicate is slow, slow. Okay. And it also has the extra delicate, extra slow, so it's a three-speed motor. I don't remember if Joe's other ones have that. Wow. Look at that. Damn, is that ever gentle? That really is. Back to high speed. And that water gets moving. Slow speed or medium speed, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty gentle enough, and there's still plenty of... But on the on the extra slow, that's something that my machines don't have. I don't have any three-speed ones. So, could be useful in certain circumstances, but not anything I would really be using. Listen to how nice that is. Next speed up. fast. You got more sound of the water splashing around than you do of the machine running. This one is exceptionally quiet. I wonder if it has the quiet pack or something. It just, it's very smooth running. Yep, washing away. Washing away. So I'll come back when it goes to drain. And uh, we'll see if it slips into spin, all that good stuff. Well, unfortunately, it's got a leak. <laughs> well, that doesn't even matter, because this is just outside. But, uh, yeah, so big deal on that. I don't know if I can just tighten it quick. Nope. So, whatever. That's not even an issue right now, because it's outside. But uh, that's really the only water I see there. So, good, good. Let her run. See what happens. It just stopped. And I push the timer in so this way I can capture it. Turn it back on. And these have a delay. There he goes. Perfect! Didn't even slip into spin. Look at that. It's in perfect shape so far that we can tell. It agitates. It does a neutral drain. The timer works. The switch works, the water level thing shut off, obviously, so that's all good. The speed switch works. It's all there. It's all there. This is what happens if your drain pipe is clogged. Don't, uh, don't get an HE machine that doesn't dump enough water down there. Okay, emptying out. Clear, slowing down. Yep, that all works. Definitely indeed. You heard the cavitation and you saw the water just go. <laughs> that was cool. And in a moment, it will stop and go into spin. Oh, look at that, it engaged already. Ah, fucking perfect.
spin clutch might be slightly worn. That's to be expected. That can always, of course, be replaced. Let's try slow speed. Yeah, don't like doing that. <laughs> you can do it, but don't do it. Going to fast is not a problem. Oh yeah. All right, awesome. I'm gonna leave her rolling here through the spin so we can see how the tub brake is. And then it's just gonna do, go and do its rinse and you saw everything already. So that's it. This is a model 110.2985299. Amp 60 Hertz, 120 volts, Sears Roebuck and Company, USA. Stock 29852. That might be a SKU number or something that they use. Don't know. Yeah, it's, I mean, like I said before, I would not expect anything less. I would not expect anything less. Those poor people with their top load HE. Oh, we had to work to get this out of that basement because it was not steps. This thing is mint. It's fucking mint. It's mint. Clean it up nice. Fucking mint. Works absolutely perfectly. So that's it. There's really no need to continue the uh, the video here, so we'll keep it on the shorter side today. Um, well, no, let's fuck around. We'll do the... Let's keep it rolling. Why not? We'll do a small load, extra slow, see how it handles that. Now I'll come back when it's getting somewhere filled. I just missed it, but indeed... That small load is pretty small. This is on the extra slow. Wow. What a difference. And here's fast. And I'll let it refill all the way. Could be any second now. Extra slow, it's going to start up in. This way I'll capture that for you. Just beautiful. I'm going to let it run on the extra slow because people generally don't use that too much. And I'll let it run on that and we'll see what happens and let it do its thing. But just, just listen. I know there's a lot of outside, outdoor sounds, but what is so loud about this? I should bring my decibel meter one day. I think that's something Sharky and I never did, just to see how loud the machine actually is. That's fucking quiet. Granted, yes, it's on extra slow, but that's quiet. You just hear the hum of the motor. There's almost no other sounds. All right, wait for a drain. Just stopped. It's chooching. This should all be on high speed, so it should not make any difference exactly right it doesn't spin on extra slow because that's kind of retarded so that's why they did that but it will spin on slow so I guess medium I don't know they called it extra slow slow and fast high medium and low works for me
feel like this has the old drain pump. We're gonna take the case off of this eventually. And we can find out. There he goes. see it go to spin soon enough in low speed and then I'll leave it to high so it'll expel as much as it possibly can because this is going to be stored uh, from my understanding XJ81X got this a lot of wind there you go you spray rinse the lid almost took a walk seemed like an extended spray rinse unless my time is warped. Wait for the next one and I'll kick it into high gear and that'll be it. So loud. So loud. Spray rinse. Huh. That's odd. I would have thought by now. All right. It is what it is. Maybe they just did one extended one. I don't know. Yep, it's otherwise all good. See, that's why I wanted to go to high speed. Like I was saying, XJ81X got this just to store it. Not that anything's going to break on the other machines, especially because we redid the neutral drain kits and we did a clutch on one and all kinds of stuff. But just in case, you never know, one machine can go out, this can go in its place, and there you go. So that certainly is an option, and it's just a spare. That's all it is. It's just going to sit. It'll be cleaned and it'll sit. Looks like only one spray rinse. That's different to me. If you know why or anything about that, you can jump in. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. But wait, you also get a bonus. Took the cabinet off. Like I said, the rust is not too bad. Just little bits. It's filthy, obviously. We're going to clean it. Pull the agitator cap. The agitator dogs look like they got meat on them. So maybe they're not as worn as I thought. Looks good. The magic wrench.
just like the secondary machine. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why I pull it, but I won't, because the lint builds right. up here. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it is, so I'm going to leave it. Okay. The secondary machine from next door was fucking disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. This once is you, fine. Yeah. There's not even any... It looks like it's worn. It's not... Maybe the whitish coating is, but the black is smooth and shiny. All good. All good. Well, this escalated quickly. Uh, I didn't know this video was going to go on this long, but it is. So, there you go, washer twerps. Here's the agitator dogs. They're in very good condition. Somebody has serviced this machine. No question. So we're pretty much just hosing it off. There's still bits of dirt here and there. But, I mean, look. Already, it looks a million times better. Over here, we're just cleaning out the inside of the machine. Just a quick... Thing. We're not going to pull the tub or any of that stuff. Joe's pulling the drain hose. I don't know why they did it that way. Yeah, that's odd. Definitely was touched. In the garage, in my tool thing, where these are, you'll see three sets of like Bob Vila, like channel locks mm -hmm. with big red handles. Mm -hmm. Get me the middle one, please. So there's the Bob Vila pliers. Just like Bob, it's rusty. There you go. Got to be careful with eggs. Suck off a clown. You still rolling? Yeah. Uh, this this is now not suitable for children. See now, <laughs> so now Jay, you got you wash the nice. You right. You get your fucking jergens. Oh, look at the tub you could fill. Right. You just sit here <laughs> and you could fucking one second, ma. Oh, and now I just made it rated right all. Jay King Nine. Oh look, Joe got the, now I'm involved. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, he makes. You gotta edit that out, right? No, no, nope. nope. nope, it's staying in. That's what makes it. Jay got the good version. Then now nobody, I'm... <laughs> nobody makes videos like I do. Everybody else tries to make nice, nice, and then Joe gets involved. Right. <laughs> and then the whole thing goes on a brush. Right, right. Literally turns to shit. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, cleany clean. Just wipe everything down. Soapy water. It's all you need. It's all the machine uses. Rinse it off with the hose. Drain everything out. Label here. That'll be fine. Not that anybody looks at them, but they're there. Do the back, and of course the control panel gets wiped down. Just a quick clean, just so it's presentable. That's it. Nothing special. You could go in this with detailing like you detail a car if you wanted, but no question this has been serviced because three guys we just pulled, and it came right out. It wasn't stuck on crazy. Dry blocks in there. And now you can get the inside of the tub. It's like when in doubt, always just pull it. You know? Yeah. And then of course the outside you can see all the schmutz on here. You gotta like scrub it. Look at that. See? That all comes off. So all clean. All nice. Everything's good. Tub cleaned up. Everything is Coming along, very nice. Totally different looking machine. Gotta hit this again, because it's got the grime. We pulled the knob to do it. 
everything's back together, bright white, brand new. Look there, on the lawn or whatever. And uh, yeah, give her another sail off. Make sure nothing leaks like it did that other time. Holding water so far. I still would pull this over there. Get rid of the LG and give you this. Mm -hmm. I would if I didn't if you didn't have a new one, I would just give you this. But there's no reason this would ever break. Because you can't get this. You can't. Remember that old thing? Oh, I hate it. I'm surprised it's drier. Everything is gonna break. <laughs> Everything is broken. Yeah. Well you gotta make sure it's constantly lit free too. Okay, here we go. This is the leak part. Whole eye should be down. This hose was disturbed, so that's the one you check. So far, so good. I dried it before, it's perfectly dry, so we're perfect. I don't see any drips on the ground. This was here, the wetness. Seems to be absolutely perfect. Water's coming down. Looks good to me. Yep. Definitely good for storage. And see how the air, see how the metal is like drier? I would, I'm going to leave it in the den. We're going to bring it in the den. I don't need help down here. I'm not, I'm not ready for it. But I will leave it in the den, and I will leave the case off. I just want everything to dry. When we're physically done, and everything's put away, then I'll read. Then we'll look. Are you going to bring it in like that? I would like to bring it in like this, with you here. And then leave it in the den. Because I need to take whatever's left. I want to drain all the water. So you can see a cavitate right there. Out of water in a second. There you go. Yeah. So where now is some typical force is spinning. Now the clothes would be in and the towels would bring it. It smacks it against the tub. This is the Italiano explanation. It is now washing it out. And parts. this is what's left. This is what's left. Normally it would be more because it would be closing. Okay, battery's about dead in the camera, so that's going to really wrap this up. Pretty much it's putting the case on, throwing the knobbies back on, and uh, oh, Jay, going inside. Jay Jergens, <laughs> oh, it's wash machine. Oh my god, look uh, what he wash did. Machine. Oh, Jay, oh, mommy. <laughs> Better get the mask you out. Right, 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 I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Speed clean. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Fuck you.